All right, I'm in the Andy Warhol assignment. When I get in here, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open up the first attachment, Andy Warhol. In here, you can navigate through the slideshow. It's going to give you various directions. When you're out of that, the next place you're gonna check, right here, full size output. This is the picture that you're going to use for the assignment. So we click on it and open it up. We come up in this top right corner and we're gonna click on this box from there, we're gonna click on the three dots. Here, we're gonna come down to these different options and we're gonna to come to send a copy. In send a copy, we're gonna to come to save image. Drive would like to add to your photos. We wanna hit okay. Now this is saved into our camera roll. So if I come into my photos, this tab here, I should be able to find that soup can image. I need this to go into Sketches School. So I'm going to open up Sketches School. Remember it is the picture with a pen or marker in blue, this app here. I'm just going to open a new folder. You probably have folders and pages already created on your device because it's your device. You don't need to worry about making a folder. If you wanted to make a folder for art lessons and one for maybe math, if you're doing anything in math or ELA, you could certainly do that and help yourself stay more organized. So I'm going to open up my page. To pull my image in, I'm gonna come up to this plus sign, or this three dots. I'm going to come to the box with the arrow pointing down and it's going to give me three choices, camera, photo, or files. I wanna pull in a photo. Clicking on that, and then going to Recents. Pull in my soup cans. This is how they're going to appear in here. I can make them larger. I can turn them. I like to turn them so that my finished work becomes a full page image, and I like to enlarge them so that it's filling most of the screen. At the bottom here, I want to click on this check mark so that that picture is locked into place. Now my tools start to appear. I can pick any tool that I like. I can come in and I can select my colors in the bottom corner and I can start to design, maybe change the size of my tool. I can start to design my soup can however I like. getting those decorations, those details. If you have a stylus at home that you can use, it will make it easier for you to get into the different areas and fill them in. If you don't, I'm just doing this with my finger. We're going to pretend that I am totally finished with this. Once I'm all done, all four cans are designed. I might have color in the background. I should write out my label on there. Um, we know these are Campbell's soup cans, so maybe I write tomato soup. Okay, I'm going to come back up to these dots. From here, I'm going to hit the box with the arrow pointing up, meaning I'm taking it out. I'm going to export it by saving it as an image, and then I can follow the directions in the video for how to... Um, post this to Artsonia.